morning, everybody. Wanted to finish up this week on a high note, I hope. But I want to talk about what uh, what being born again means. And and I've got I want to go to John three, and I'm going to read instead of trying to quote the scripture. I'm going to actually read three or four verses so that you get the picture. A guy named Nicodemus came to talk to Jesus at night, so he was. He was kind of slipping around at night, didn't want anyone to see him. You know, didn't want to, I think he probably didn't want to ruin his good reputation because Jesus had a, had a rep with the uh, Pharisees and Sadducees. They didn't want anything to do with him. But anyway, Nicodemus comes, and let me pick up in John 3.3. 3, Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born When he is old, can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I've said to you, you must be born again. And I was was talking the last couple times about what died, that Adam's spirit had died when they bit the fruit. And if, if you want, I'm not going to go back into that, but you can go look, listen to those other lessons. But the spirit man is dead, and Adam, since he didn't have any children before he bit the fruit, something happened <clears throat> in his bloodline. And I, and I want to give an example. Back in, in the, my earlier days, 18 to 20-something, I used to go to Louisiana Downs, a, a thoroughbred horse racing track, and I used to love to watch the horses. But what I found is that the bloodline was extremely important. And, I mean, I didn't realize it when I first started, but the, and you may have never known this, I didn't know it, uh, I was taught. But the, the male in the, in the race or in the species passes on the blood or the bloodline through the kids. So Adam's, Adam's uh, blood was tainted. I, I don't. I mean, I. It, I, can't, I don't know how to really picture it. He kind of. It was just had. It was carried a, a sin disease or whatever. When he bit the fruit, something happened to his blood, and so every person that is born through Adam's bloodline, which you and I are, um, we we're coming in with tainted blood, and so and Jesus was talking. And that's when Nicodemus. Nicodemus didn't understand what's going on. How you know being born again. How, I mean, how do I, why do I need to be born again? How, you know, and he couldn't figure out in it because remember we talked about spirit, soul, and body. Well, he's talking about his body being born again. And he's trying to figure out, am I supposed to, how am I supposed to enter back into the, my mom's womb? You know, I mean, that, that don't make any sense. So, and, and a lot of things in the Bible, you know, there's some, there's some physical or flesh or whatever, this, the body, it, it pertains to the body. And there's some, and there's some spiritual truths, or all you know, a lot of them are spiritual truths. But you've got to you've got to take this as a spiritual truth. This is what Jesus and he was trying to show. Look, everybody's coming. Everyone's born of water, and that's the embryonic fluid. That's from a woman. We've all come through that. Everybody that's born of flesh is flesh, but those that are born of spirit are spirit. So. I'm not going to get into all the, you know, I'm not going to get into a deep theological discussion because we know that's not where I'm at. But the the whole picture of this is that Jesus was saying, look, you've got a problem. You know, your spirit man is dead. You've got to be born of the spirit. You've got to have your spirit man come back alive. So we're going to get into next week. I want I just kind of want to set the table for this. And, and let you know that, that, that Jesus, it was so important that Jesus be born of a virgin. And, you know, that's one of the foundational truths of the Christian doctrine. It, if, if you let, I mean, any part of the Bible, if you let someone tell you that it's not true, then all of it, you know, God can't lie. This Bible is the truth. And that's why I started this teaching, you know, back in a few weeks ago saying, you know, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father. Jesus called himself the truth. And this is the truth, that, that Jesus came from a different bloodline. And he is the Son of God. And it, it's so important that you all get a hold of that and, and that, 
that you understand that Jesus did not come from Adam's bloodline. We all did, but Jesus did not. Now, he came into the world the same way we did, and he, he had to have a natural birth, but it was a supernatural conception. So I want you to kind of just dig on that. I kind of want you to just think about that. And, and really, again, my, my job or what I'm trying to do is, is just encourage you to kind of dig in and think. You know, kind of, I mean, in sales, we call it being a top of mind awareness. I just want to start, start your day or end your day think of just a little thought to be thinking about God. Because I think one of the problems we have in the body of Christ is we try to get fed once or twice a week going Sunday or Wednesday or, you know, if you're really spiritual, you go Wednesday and Sunday. But we really need to get, you know, Jesus said, give us this bread, give us this day our daily bread. We need to be eating this stuff every day. And so we don't have to eat a bunch. We just need to kind of dig on it and and just think, you know, just meditate on this. And I, that's all really I'm trying to do is just to help you just get your day off started. And, I, you know, the devotionals are good, but I think, you know, with video coming up and, you know, I think it's it's better to kind of have a little communication. I, you know, I don't know one on one. I'm talking to my phone, but you know, I do try to answer the comments if y'all have a comment or or anything. But I, I do I do appreciate that's enough for today. But I do appreciate y'all stopping in. Uh, think about this. We'll talk more about <clears throat> the virgin birth next week, and and we'll see how all this ties in. But it is uh it's fascinating. It's a wonderful. It's a wonderful deal, but I, I want to thank you, and y'all have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.